Hi YouTubers, welcome to my channel. VMware Workstation is free now. So since last year, this November 2023, Broadcom bought out uh, VMware with $69 billion. It was huge, especially to the IT. Since they are changing their license model to subscription model, they are move away from perpetual software license, which is going to potentially increase lots of IT costs. That's on the business side, but for personal users, what's the impact? Actually, it's a good news for us. We have VMware Workstation free now. Just a couple of days ago, VMware announced VMware Desktop Hypervisor Pro now available free for personal use. You don't need a license anymore. It's free for personal use. Of course, if for the commercial usage, yeah, you still need to pay the subscription fee for the Pro apps. At the same time, they are removing the VMware players. So there's no more VMware Workstation players for Linux and for Windows machines. So it's gone since they have Workstation Pro version available for personal use. But how you can get this Workstation to be downloaded on your local machine to play with it? It's getting a little bit complicated. Um, I'm trying to show you what's the process, how you can get it. Hopefully, that will save you lots of time to find out the right version for you to use. Now, let's get started. Just want to summarize what the changes for the VMware Desktop Hypervisor product. So, the transition to the subscription model. For the additions, they are also restructuring free player addition is gone. Powerful and enterprise standard pro addition is free for personal use. Commercial use license also available for purchasing. There's some impact for your existing subscription or license users. Please read those if you have your license for your pro version. Broadcom already bought uh, VMware for a couple of months. They're still not fully integrated well with their portal. So you won't be able to find anything relating to VMware for downloading. Even you do search, you are not able to see related the product. Okay, we understand that. So let's go to the Google to search VMware Workstation Pro for free. So let's try to see how we can find the download link. So this seems like a lazy link here. But eventually you will go back to Broadcom portal to ask you to register account. Just make sure you have Broadcom account registered. If you don't have, you need to create your new one. VMware account won't work anymore. Since I don't have an account, now let's try to register account for it. Create an account. I have to give some fake information. Request and for approval. Quite a complicated process. Anyways, if you don't like this process, you can look at my blog post in this video description and get the link to download it and work on. Else, let me show you once you get approval, get the account, how you can log in.
Well, that's how it looks like. I log into the support portal. So in the software, now you should be able to find the VMware Cloud Foundation. Let's go to all product. So it will show you VMware Cloud Foundation. Everything should be here. And then you will see this VMware Cloud Foundation product. But here is not what we're going to go to. You, we need to go to my download. We go to my download. Then go to VMware Workstation Pro. You go to VMware Workstation. There's a couple of uh, VMware Workstation. You need to go to this for personal use. Don't go to the last one. You have to. If you go to this one, you won't get the download link activated for you. It's not entitled. I got the issue with that before. Actually, you need to go to the for personal use Windows one. Now you should be able to download it from here. The download link is available. Uh, you also click on this one, proceed, verification. So those address informations, blah, 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 those informations here. You need to say agree and then submit. Put everything in. State. Submit. Finally, after finished all those steps, you should be able to download it now. So again, as I mentioned, if you don't want to go through all those steps, go to my blog post and find our link and download from there. And I will show you in the next step for those downloading as well. It's much easier or even faster. Once you download the file, you cannot directly open it or extract it from File Explorer since it has been encrypted using a password. Uh, File Explorer cannot let you enter the password here, so it won't be able to extract the real files inside of it, even if you can see it from there. Um, actually, you can download a same zip, which is I'm going to do just quickly download some zip here, then open it, open. 7-zip file manager, go to your computer, C drive, go to your users, depending on which user you are using, since we put it on desktop, you'll find your VMware installation zip file, then you can open it, now you can um, drag it out or unzip it, extract the content out, password 51sec.org, Now you get the installation file. Please make sure you check the MD5 value and compare with the online file hash value and the MD5 value, which post on the Broadcom website. Double check those values to make sure you get the same files with no changes. For me, I can save that step to install it. Double click on it. I'm gonna close other windows here since we don't need them. It will take probably 10 seconds to load the installation wizard. What you do is next, 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 next. You don't have to change anything, you don't have to select anything here until to install. It shouldn't take you more than 20 seconds to finish the whole installation process. At the end of the installation, they will ask you to choose the license type, either personal use or commercial use. If you use commercial use, then you have to have the license or serial number for it. Okay, this is the end of the installation wizard. Uh, let's finish or license. For license, you can enter your license key. We don't have it, so we can skip it, and then finish the installation. When you open it, double click the icon on the desktop. You're going to open the VMware Workstation Pro. Now you have to choose which license you're going to use. If you don't have license key, you have option to use for personal 
use here to that continue finish so then you can launch it let's take a look the license so we are not licensed but the personal use only there's no explanation date this notes for commercial use virtual license you can click buy now to go to the vmware store and pay for the license which is about 120 us dollars not that expensive but for personal use you don't need to pay a penny if you do have your old VMware workstation just like I have I have my own workstation version 16 this is a special warrant license that's my commercial use license so if you have that you probably will see the difference now this is warrant license for previous workstation 16 Pro there's no option for you to for the personal use this is a new license personal use is good for the workstation pro now so that's all for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumb up as usual if you haven't subscribed please do that will give me great support see you in my next one